Hello guys, welcome back to another episode review of Hollyx. Hope you guys are all doing well. I actually love this episode and well it was a bit sad. There's a lot of happening, a lot of chaos. Walter's sadly leaving, so I'm gonna we'll park that to the side. We're gonna go into the main bit first. Verity, she's found out finally that her brother is a spiker. And earlier, let's rewind, she's had a bit of a fight with Maxine. Maxine well, initially came to Eric's little caravan and asked, you know, thanked him for showing the CCTV. Well, we all know Maxine was playing, try, playing a bit, trying to get Eric to admit he's a spiker, etc. And then she asked, she said, nice tattoo. And then he was just boiling with rage. Just a sight of, uh, I mean, th th that guy is clearly someone who hates uh, women. And yeah, he's a very wrong character, basically. And um, Maxine's trying her best and I think she got caught by Verity um with the laptop and Verity's had it out with her they then went to the gym again they had a gym class they had a gym class and Goldie was hosting for self-defense classes etc and Eric was there in the midst of all, all everyone else and you know the other women as well and he just looks weird and awkward and just his slouching and I don't know, he's just body language, great action by the way, but body language, looking up with his eyes angrily, yeah, it was just a creepy session, I'm, I'm just surprised no one else in the in the gym can uh, was, was picking up awkward vibes from him, and um, yeah, you just feel the weirdness, I, I mean, I, I would be very uncomfortable if I was there myself um, in, in that gym class, but anyway, obviously, they, they followed back, Verity and Maxine came back to the gym class, had an argument in front of everyone, uh, Verity's defending her little brother, etc., I mean, most sisters would, I guess, and uh, yeah, James stepped in and said, Let, you know, let's all take a break, I don't know why James, or wh whatever James does, everything, even a serious situation, he's got this really comical side to him, um, yeah, and then I, th I think that kind of it rubbed Maxine the wrong way even more, and everyone else was saying, "Mate, you know, let's take a break, etc." And then I think Maxine, unfortunately, looked like the one that she's, um, I don't know, kind of throwing a tantrum in their eyes when she's not. We we all know that, and uh, um, Verity said, you know, that's the second person she's accused in two days because she accused Verity's nephew literally yesterday, uh, previous episode, and. Unfortunately, that didn't go Maxine's way, and uh, she left, and just Eric just staring at her like she's, she's looking through her soul with rage, basically. And he, yeah, he's the nice thing is, you know, he's thankfully his sister that you know she basically, as you can see in the picture now, that um, Shaq and Verity looking at the comments, you know, Goldie's released a picture, and um. Yeah, he's just looking very awkward, Shaq was saying, and then Verity's looking at the comments, and she realised the username, True Eyed Lona, or we all know that's Eric's username, and then she, she just realised something, like a nickname that their mum gave him when, the, when he was younger. That got her curious, and then she went to the caravan secretly, and she saw the laptop, and she's seeing all the live messages that's being sent to his little weird group, um, about Maxine, calling her all sorts of words. Um, very creative, very very creative storylines and very creative words as well. Um, the, um, the scripts and everything that's been written, that I found anyway. And um, yeah, Freddie was just in shock, at absolute shock. Just just seeing all those messages. Uh, I imagine anyone just just you, you got your own you know you got a sibling that that's that's capable of sending nasty vile messages and not just that it's spiking women because now she knows he's a spiker and he's literally admitted it through text live text she's watching it because i think his laptop was linked to his phone and then um he's he's saying he's going to do it again and, and no one's going to suspect him and, and he's doing lol like in caps lock i, I yeah <laughs> i don't think verity should let him go be like let him pass she's got, she's got to square up with him um yeah it's i'm glad finally now someone in the family now knows and it's, it's just as well Verity you know a, a woman I'm hoping now she's she's gonna step up and she's gonna do the right thing and and and, and call him out and, and and basically let everyone know as well I, th I think just when just one person knows then it's a bit of an issue because because um the the I don't know what to call him, the predator, let's call him, the predator can easily um, uh, smooch their way around with words and, and say, you know, um, etc. Like, 
basically stop them telling it and say they've got to change etc and we all know that's not going to happen and even if they did um well you know she shouldn't he still be um be held accountable for what he did i don't know but um yeah it, it, it's it's a tricky one um well it's not tricky because he, he needs to go i think i think his time's coming to an end he's just been around for too long doing evil stuff um dangerous dangerous stuff people could die right moving on as you can see now olivia's basically wanting to pay for a wedding and she's trying to get nancy demoted or even cut nancy out probably uh i think she'd prefer that but now she's got obviously reason with sally she's trying to demote nancy um saying deputy head teacher's not needed so and, and then get a pay rise for all the other teachers i don't know i just find this olivia very slimy uh character and she's she's out to get everyone she's you can tell she's nasty and yeah unfortunately nancy's got a big big problem with her hands because she's a try olivia's a trier that's what i'd like to say she, she's she's she has no boundaries and she stops at nothing she's also blackmailing charlie to uh, plant a necklace into nancy's handbag and get her in trouble basically and um yet yeah, now charlie's in a in, in a position as well because you know she's saying that Char um charlie's basically bruised her arm or something um she's blackmailing him proper well um nancy's got to do something now because sally's just taking a neutral stance and she probably should as a head teacher um without any evidence and yeah nancy's got no choice but to do something because it's getting too far olivia's had it out for her since day one um and i i just feel like she's a terrific actress but i think we want to stop seeing you know too much evil especially if it's a favorite against like nancy yeah that's sad um again i want to talk about imran such malik household uh he's you know he got finally got his mum and his stepdad zayn uh together made up happy again they're watching a film i think you know it's nice seeing a like a family like happy family scene time on 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 your screen it's just nice i actually quite enjoy it um the scene that rather than drama all the time um so imran's quite chuffed with that and i think that's quite good for him um while during his recovery um ongoing so you know a bit of positive stuff finally on to walter is leaving that was really sad i actually kind of grew to like him quite a lot um Obviously, when he came on, he was quite a strong character, had loads of different views. But I think over time, he, you know, everyone just learns to coexist. We all understand we all got different sets of beliefs and um, different way of life. Just got to coexist. Don't force your own stuff onto anyone else. And, and that goes across the board. And, and just, just respect everyone and just move on. And, and that's exactly what he's did for, for his end times. And, um, yeah, and he's become more understanding with Felix because obviously there was a big thing with Felix. He didn't really trust him all his life, etc. And I think Felix was really um, chuffed about that with, with Walter finally um, giving him approval as his own family, his own son, basically. Um, that was sad. And when the cab was leaving, um, obviously the music was playing and I thought, oh, is this Walter's last scene? Is he ever going to come back? I hope he comes back. He's like a Patrick Truman in EastEnders. You just want him around. And I I think because the camera um, sh was shown uh, Walter's family after him. So he didn't get the last, he did not get the last uh, look on the camera. I think that might be an indication he might come back. Um, yeah. I, I really hope he does come back. Anyway, that's that's keeping hope there. Um last thing I want to touch on is when Verity um found out that that scene with Shaq, they were looking at the phone, the messages, the comments that Eric um this true eyed loner was was posting. Um she was looking into it and I, I really like I really liked that scene because um the background music as well that I was playing, it was, it was almost like a Harry Potter moment. I don't know if you watch the Harry Potter films when something dramatic happens and you find out something. There's this type of music, a like genre of music that plays in the background that's really um, glues the viewers in. I just thought that was superb. Um, I know some people don't like music in soap, etc., but I, I actually like it, um, background music. 
um, just gets the rhythm going. Not over, not over the top, but you know, just 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 have the right balance. But I thought that was really good. Peace. Hope you enjoy. Hope you have a good day, guys.